Welcome back to Cardanities.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic, Logic 301. This is month number three, the Piano Postulates. Today we're going to be looking at how to build the Piano Postulates. So, now that we understand the concepts of the Piano Postulates, there are several things we could do. We could build up from these postulates by defining things like addition, multiplication, etc., and taking the three central concepts in these postulates, zero, successorship, and natural numbers, as basic concepts that require no definition, or that we offer no definition of. In fact, that was what we did in our original P video on piano arithmetic. However, we can also go down a level and define these concepts in terms of some other formulation, in this case, set theory, and then prove that they are true based on those definitions using just the axioms we've assumed for set theory. Note that this means we would not be assuming Piano's postulates, but rather we're going to be proving them. There are three basic concepts that we're going to need to define in terms of set theory in order to prove the postulates. Zero, successorship, and natural numbers. We will also need to adopt a new axiom of our own, the axiom of infinity. This will take our basic universe and upgrade it to a Zermelo universe. It's important to note that zero successorship and natural numbers can be defined in any number of ways, and they can be left undefined. We're going to be picking specific definitions that allow us to build arithmetic on top of set theory, but you could build arithmetic on top of other things as long as you have enough underlying axioms and definitions to define zero successorship natural numbers and to prove those five piano postulates. In the following videos, we will offer definitions of each of the three concepts and then prove the piano postulates one by one. Finally, we will end with looking at how we can prove various basic mathematical functions such as multiplication, addition, and inequalities. This is a lot, but once you have these basic pieces, the world is your oyster when it comes to set theory. Up next, what is zero? Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.